The Pete Lembo era got off to a perfect start tonight at UB Stadium as the Bulls defeat Lafayette 30-13 to improve to 1-0. Early on, it was LJ Henderson getting the Bulls on the board first, scoring from 11 yards out. There was some question about who would be the Bulls starting running back entering fall camp, but right now they have a committee, according to coach, Pete Lembo. Another question entering this season would be how would starting quarterback CJ Agbana look as a passer? Last year he was primarily used as a runner but he showed he can get it done in the air. First quarter connecting with Nick McMillan for a 31 yard touchdown to put the Bulls in front 13-0. McMillan with a sharp debut to his season. Five catches over 70 yards and a touchdown. The Bulls took a 16-0 lead into halftime as their defense was flying all over the field in the first half. Jalen McNair with an impressive interception on the Bulls' first defensive drive of the game. Now in the second half, Lafayette did have a little bit of momentum. They cut the lead down to 16-6. UB ended up responding. This was, like I said, Agbana really getting it done with his deep passes today. Check out this highlight, finding Taji Johnson, the Boston College transfer, in the corner of the end zone. Originally, refs ruled this incomplete, but you can see clearly on my replay here that Johnson got his foot down. It would be reviewed. It would be overturned, called a touchdown to give UB a 23-6 lead. But this game was far from over. UB had some mistakes of their own, and Lafayette would cut it to be a 23-13 lead. After a muff kickoff return, UB coming up with a huge fourth down stop as Lafayette misses a field goal. And that was kind of the story of the day for the Leopards as they've fallen short multiple times on fourth down attempts and UB side of the field and then missing the field goal there. And just a little bit after an incredible Sean Dolak interception, UB put the game away with a Jacquez Barksdale 19 yard touchdown run to go up 30 to 13. And that would end up being the final score. Pete Lembo spoke after the game about how some adversity is a good thing for this UB football program. Yeah, the best part was handling the adversity. That's, that's really, I mean, to me, in the long run, having to go through the ups and downs, particularly in the second half that we did tonight, will help us more so than if, if this game was lopsided in the second half. Statistically, there was a lot of Bulls players that had great performances today. CJ Agbana just finished shy of 200 yards passing in the 190 range for two touchdowns in the air. LJ Henderson, a touchdown on the ground. Jacquez Barksdale, 99 yards rushing and a touchdown on the ground. Pete Lembo actually took him out when he had a chance for 100 yards. He said he didn't realize that he was only one yard away. Nick McMillan, a solid day, over 70 yards and a touchdown reception. Defensively, Sean Dolak, he lit it up. 11 tackles, two tackles for loss, an interception. Everybody in Buffalo is focused on the local boy Joe Andreessen right now on the Bills, but Sean Dolak is another local guy with an incredible story playing for UB football that deserves a lot of attention going forward. First game back, obviously, and um, just the emotions were, were controlled because they have to be. You know, football has to be a controlled emotional game, and that's what they were. You know, I'm ex I was excited to get back just to play with my teammates, um, and you know, it showed all over the field tonight, um, offensively and defensively. You know, we were flying around all night and. Um, I'm just grateful we got to one and zero. He's a really efficient mover out there on the field, so he's able to put his body in really, really good position uh, because the combination of preparation and instinct. Um, and so you saw not only the interception and a couple TFLs tonight. There were some open field tackles that were legit week one tackles. Here's what the rest of the Bulls had to say following the game. I just went out there and played hard, honestly. I just got behind my pads and lowered my shoulder. Mm. And um, I appreciate my old line for blocking yep. for me. It starts with them up front, and I just they just made hole for me, and I hit them. I'll say it's a long process. It's been not just this year, last year. Most of the receivers that I'm throwing with now were like who I was throwing with when I was a two. So mm -hmm. our connection has been strong, and 
we've just been getting better every day, like just extra extra work and just extra preparation. It was definitely a good thing to see coming from a receiver standpoint. Uh, you know, we want to get the ball, so throwing the ball was definitely uh, something that we talked about this whole off season, saying we didn't throw enough last year. So seeing it all come together today was definitely, definitely a sight to see. With the win, the Bulls snap a two-game losing streak to FCS competition, and they snap a two-game losing streak in home openers as they get their first home opening win in three years to improve to 1-0 overall. They return to action next week on the road in Columbia to take on the ranked Missouri Tigers. For more UB content, make sure to follow Bullet Points 716, Trainwreck Sports, and myself, Mike underscore Bunt. Let's go Bulls! I'm Marcus Fuqua and this train never stops.